Hi, this is Gail with Bernina of Naperville. Look what just arrived at the store today. Our brand new Bernina L890 overlocker and cover stitch machine. Now, I cannot wait to show you how easy it is to use this machine. Now, you saw my video with the L850, so of course you know that it has the air threading, but this machine also has uh, novice mode, which will take us through guided access on how to do every stitch on this machine. It's amazing. So you're not going to want to miss that. And then also I will go over the air threading again on this machine. And finally, we're going to convert it from overlocking to cover stitching and then do the amazing chain stitch and overlock stitch. So you're not going to want to miss it and enough talking. Let's go ahead and get started. First things first, Let's go ahead and pick what stitch we want to start off with. Now, I am somebody that just likes to hit the ground running. However, let's let's keep it a little simple. So we're going to start off with a four thread overlock stitch. So just like on some of our other Berninas with the color touch screens, this screen, hopefully the navigation will be easy to you. We've got stitch selection, your favorite stitches, uh, manual adjustment mode and getting ready to stitch mode. So that's what's over here on the right side of the screen. The uh, threading chart on the machine is color coded. So we know that the right cover needle or the right needle or ha have you all have different colors assigned to them. So I'm going to show you how to read that, show you about needle up down, stitch length and differential feed. So let's pick a stitch. So I've opened up my stitch menu, and as you can see, I've got three options. I've got overlock stitches, cover stitches, and combo stitches. I also have uh, two views that I can choose in here, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. So let's go ahead and hit the overlock stitches. So the overlock stitches show up here. There's more than just the six. It actually goes up to 30 different options. So there's already a lot of possibilities for us. Now, I have been doing this a while, so it's easy for me to look at these stitches and really know exactly what these stitches are. Um, but one thing that's helpful for new folks is, you know, this is what the stitch is gonna look like when it stitches out on your garment, because more than likely you're gonna have all the same thread in your different paths. But when you hit this color button here, you're gonna be able to see exactly what each path color is supposed to be doing. Hence the red, yellow, green, blue that you see here on the screen. Now, I could either open my manual to look at what stitch number one is, or I can simply press this chart and it's going to tell me exactly the name of that chart. So this is kind of like the view option that you get on your Windows computer where you can see your pictures as thumbnails or you can see your pictures with a description of what you've called them. So think about it that way. So what I'm gonna do is I already told you that I wanna do a four thread overlock stitch. So it looks like four, number one is a four thread overlock stitch with the integrated safety seam. The integrated safety seam is that extra row of stitching right there. So that's the one that I wanna select. All right, since we're gonna get started from the very get-go, let's go ahead and do our guided mode. Guided mode is like, okay, I'm gonna sit down at this thing and I'm gonna do everything that it tells me to do. So. Like I said, we're starting off with our four thread overlock stitch with the integrative safety seam. And step one is wanting us to raise our presser foot. Well, I can do that. I can raise my presser foot with the Bernina freehand system, the knee lever that's right in front of the machine, or I can raise it in the back with my hand because the presser foot lifter is towards the back of the machine. Then I'm going to proceed to the next step and now it wants me to unthread the following thread paths. Now, when I got this machine out of the box, it was set up for a chain and overlock stitch. Well, now it's assuming that I'm going back to this four thread. So I'm going to have to remove my thread from the right cover needle, cover looper path. Of course, I've already done that. So I can go ahead and skip and now it wants me to use stitch foot number C11. Well, 
the only other foot that the machine comes with is the cover stitch foot number C13. And that's what you're gonna use for cover stitching. We'll address this in a moment. However, it we want to make sure that we have foot number C11 on the machine and that is what's on there. If there's ever any doubt on how to do this or look at the presser foot, we have a video right there on the screen that you can watch. So it shows lifting up the foot, pressing the quick release button, the foot comes down, we remove the foot, and we put the new foot on. So I can go ahead and X out of this. And then we also wanna adjust the presser foot pressure. The presser foot pressure is a dial at the top of the machine. But once again, there's a video for that. And the range is from one to five, and it's requesting that we put it on four. All right, I'm all set. I've got these things down. I can move ahead to the next step. Now I'm going to insert the needles into the positions shown. So if we look at this, this is left cover, center cover, right cover. Well, we're not doing a cover stitch. We're doing the overlock stitch. So I want my left needle and my right needle. And just to make sure that I'm doing this right, I'm gonna watch the little film. We have our holder that holds our needle and our screwdriver to undo the needle conveniently located in the inside door of our Bernina L890. And then all I have to do is put my needle in and tighten. And I'm gonna do that with both my left and right needles. All right, why don't we do this in real life? I'm going to remove my needle holder. So this holds the needle in the top of that hole right there, but it's also the needle threader. Now, if you have another Bernina serger, you know about these little needle threaders. So this is what we're going to use ultimately to thread the needle. But for this application, we're going to use this end to hold on to our needle so it doesn't fall into our machine. I'm also going to need the screwdriver and it's a little, um, Allen wrench type thing, and that's what's gonna go into the top screw above the needle so I can put my needles in the right place. Okay, you can see here, when we were doing this other stitch, that we had one over here in the left cover position. So I'm just gonna undo this and let my needle fall out, holding it in my little holder and now I'm gonna move it over here. As you can see, my left needle was in there already, so all I had to do was place my right needle into place. Now, I also want you to notice that one needle looks higher up than the other, but that's what it's supposed to look like. So we've successfully changed our needles. All right, next on the docket is activating the knife. Now, if you do cover stitching, you don't use the knife, so the knife would be hidden down below. And also we wanna adjust the cutting width. So let's look at the video for activating the knife. You can see it's at the lower left part of the machine and you just flip the switch to bring it up or move the switch the opposite direction to lower it. And then if you wanna know where the cutting width is, that's on the front of the machine. It's a dial. The default setting is usually six. So we're gonna go ahead and move that cutting width to six. All right, the next task is to attach the knife cover insert because when we do cover stitching, we do not actually use that insert we use a different one and then we're also going to activate the upper looper so here's a video on what i'm talking about that yellow piece right there that is the cover stitch insert that's going to come off and then the knife insert is going to go on and then while we have that door open we're going to activate the upper looper and there's a little lever 
and you want to pulse it into position to raise it. All right, I'm excited to try these. Let's do it. Here is our cover stitch plate and I'm going to open up my door and remove that. It just pulls right off. And now here's my knife cover. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna slip that into place like that. You can see here, now we're good to go. But now we've got our lower looper down there and the lower looper down there, well, that little bugger needs to come up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our foot control but first we're going to, this is the lower looper off switch and I'm turning it to lower or upper, I'm sorry. This is the upper looper off switch and I'm gonna turn this to upper looper on. So now all I need to do is press the foot control to pulse that into position and you saw the upper looper come up just over there. So now we've completed those two steps. Next in the plan is to hook out upper looper converter. Okay, those instructions, the hook out upper looper converter, sometimes there are gonna be some stitches where this little guy is not tucked away. This is the position we want it for this stitch, but sometimes they're back there hooked away in the front. So it just wants to have us make sure that this little guy is open just like that. Finally, we want to set our rolled hem selection lever to position zero. Let's look at the video for that one. Oh, that looks easy. Okay, and then let's see, adjust the MTC micro thread control. I bet you this video will tell me what I need to do. Oh, I see that little dial. Okay, let's do this in real life. So our rolled hem lever needs to be on O. Let's just say O for off and R is R for roll. That's for a rolled hem, but we're doing our four thread overlock stitch. So we want that to be on zero. And then it also wants this to be on zero. This is our micro thread control. And there's a little line right here showing me, you know, where I line it up at zero, where it's gonna hit. All right, so now is the moment that we've really all been waiting for, and that's to thread the following thread paths. So we've got our lower looper, upper looper, right needle and left needle. What are we waiting for? Let's use this air threader. All right, as you can see, everything's threaded. And now it's time for me to turn my threading knob back to regular sewing. And we're set. Look how the machine even does everything for us. It's amazing. All right, so we've got the machine set up for the four thread overlock stitch and it's four tensions all the way across. We're using the left needle, right needle, upper looper and lower looper, all at a four setting. I, For my application for this, I want the needle to land in the up position, but sometimes if I do cover stitching, I want the needle to land in the down position. And you can change that as simply easy as just touching it to have needle down 
and up to have needle up. Now, of course, I also have that capability on the foot control. Then we have the uh, stitch length. It's set here to 2.5 millimeters, but if I wanted, I could adjust the stitch length by just touching on that button and I get the screen, and I can also adjust the differential feed. And differential feed is for different knits if you don't want it to stretch out while you sew it, or if you wanna take something and gather it up. But these are where I could make those adjustments. And just like our other videos, you can see on this, we have a little video that kind of explains what this um, stitch length does. And the same with the differential feet. Another thing that we have is if you ever forget what any of these symbols mean, there's a little help button that you can hit and touch the symbol like what is stitch thumbs up? Guess what? That's the stitch optimizer. And this is a way to show possible stip, stitch patterns and then measures for stitch to tweak it. So for instance, if we touch the stitch optimizer, we can really like look at, does our stitch look like this? Okay, this is what we need to do to fix that. So that, you know, could be something helpful. We can reduce the motor speed on the machine over here. Now the max speed is 1,350 stitches per minute, but we could, you know, cap it off a little bit slower if we wanted to. And, uh, you know, I've talked, I've threaded everything. You know, it might be just time to watch this thing do a little bit of stitching. So I've got this nice bird's eye view here and I'm using my Alexander Henry canvas. And I'm just going to fold this, do my little test, lower my presser foot. Now I could have done that with my knee lever right here like that. And I'm pushing on my foot control to get started. like to bring my thread under to cut but you know I honestly have to tell you that there is nothing that sews like this Bernina L890 serger nothing it sounds like a sewing machine feels like a sewing machine operates like a little guardian angel making sure I don't do anything wrong I am unbelievably impressed with this machine all right, so here's the drill. I want to do a three thread cover stitch now. So I am going to just go ahead and X out of here. I've gone to my stitches. I'm going to go to cover and I'm going to scroll down until I see, there it is, my four thread, three needle cover stitch. And so it wants me to lift my presser foot, which, hey, we all know I know how to do that. And we're gonna go through all of these adjustments and then thread up the machine. So it really is easy. And I always just cut the threads at the top and I'm just going to simply gently pull the threads through and that will remove the threads from the machine. And now it wants me to put that foot, this number C, 13 foot on there. So let's go ahead and zoom in and see how that's done. So there's that little lever behind the foot that I'm gonna to press to release the foot. I'm gonna pull that aside. And now I'm gonna lift this guy up, get that little pin that this goes on centered right over my piece. There we go, just wiggle it into place there. And now we've got the cover stitch foot on. And now I need to adjust the presser foot pressure to four, it's already there. And now I'm going to open up my accessories tray and I will grab my needle removing device. Some people call that a screwdriver. And I'm gonna use my little tool here. This particular stitch wants us to take both left and right needles out and put three needles in 
where the cover stitch needles are. And so right now I'm putting in the CR and CR is cover stitch right. There we go. Now I'm going to the CC, which is cover stitch center, and inserting that. And you know, just for good measure, I'm just going to screw my little screws over there in. Now, I've got to do my LC, which is the left cover needle, and I'm going to, voila, pull some of my needles out that come with my machine. Now notice these are the ELX needles and we do carry these at Bernina of Naperville. So when you need new needles for your L890 or your L850, we have them. All right, next step is to deactivate the knife. Well, you saw what I did before. It's that lower switch on the left side of the machine. I'm just gonna push that and you saw the knife went down there. And now I'm gonna adjust the cutting width to five. And I'm sure there's a reason to adjust to five and it's to add something onto the machine. We're not really cutting when we do cover stitching mode, but there is a method to the madness, so don't forget that step. And then finally, we're gonna attach the cover stitch insert. That's the piece that goes right here. So as we open this up, right there, let's move the camera down. Okay, so I'm gonna take this little guy and you just have to gently pull this up to remove it. And then we're gonna put this guy on. And then you wanna make sure when you put this on that the little lines for your seam allowances face kinda towards you on this. And now we're gonna put this into place and just slip that right into position. There we go. And then we're gonna deactivate the upper looper. Deactivating the upper looper is easy. It starts with turning the upper looper off and pressing on the foot control. That puts the upper looper away. All right, next. We don't have any setting for the upper looper converter, so we can skip this step. And now we're gonna set the rolled hem selection lever to the off position and Finally, we're going to thread the following paths. So we've got the purple path, which is the cover stitch looper. We have the blue, green, and yellow paths, which are gonna be our right cover needle, center cover needle, and left cover needle. I'm gonna turn my air threading thing on and then I'm gonna hover my stitch, or uh, <laughs> hover my thread over the purple path for air threading and press on my foot control. And there it goes. Came out right here on that side. Now we're gonna do all of our needles. And don't forget, I'm gonna need my little needle threader to do this. Down here, go over into the blue path the blue path up here, right in front and above our needle, and now we use our needle threader. And this little guy has a hook on the end I like to use, right here. There we go. All right, we're ready for the green path. And we're gonna follow green, green, and we go all the way up to the top on this one. 
Follow the next slot above the needle. Go into the middle slot. Pull our thread through. And then finally, our yellow path, or better known as our left needle. And we can swing out our foot by lifting it and getting our threads under there. We're almost there. All right, so the next thing we need to do is hit the check mark. And now it's reminding me to turn this dial back. And now we get our stitch screen. Once again, remember, we have our tension adjustments that show up right here. So we're using yellow, green, and blue and the cover looper, which is at 1.5. We've got our needle is always going to land in the up position, but like I told you before, this is where I kind of like it to land down when I'm doing cover stitching. My cover stitch length is 3.5, but sometimes on a cover stitch, I like to go a little bit longer. So of course I can make that adjustment here and I can use the plus buttons or I can use this little guy to drag it into position. And I'm going to leave my differential feed at the default setting. And then I'm going to keep everything exactly the way it is. So it's time to close the doors and sew something. We're going to start by selecting our stitch and no I don't want to save this so now I'm going to go to the combo stitch and I'm simply going to pick the three thread overlock with the right center needle and the left needle so just stitch number 17 and I've got my presser foot raised so I can skip this stitch I'm going to unthread all of my needle pads then I'm going to put my C11 foot back on and adjust the presser foot pressure. And if you forget how to do that, don't forget about the videos. I'm doing exactly what it's telling me right now. Presser foot pressure the whole bit. And now I need to put in the right center and the left needle. That I can handle. Don't forget that I already have the right center in there. So all I need to do is take out these two needles. And over here in the little drawer, there's a little needle minder, which is really nice. And now I need to put a needle in the left needle path. Okay, needles are locked and loaded. All right, we're going to activate our knife and we're going to adjust the cutting width. Remember, the knife is a little slot under here, a little switch. We pull that to bring it up, and then we're going to use our cutting width adjustment to move out our knife. Attach the knife cover insert. That's this piece, so I'm going to lift this up and gently pull off. There we go. And then we're going to activate the upper looper. And so we do that by turning it on and pressing on the foot control. 
There we go. And then we're going to make sure that our hook is out on our upper looper and our rolled hem is at O and our micro thread control is at O. All right, you know the drill. Now I'm going to thread my right cover needle, my left needle, my upper looper, lower looper, and cover looper. Don't forget, on the Bernina L890, you can go in any order when you thread. So I'm going from purple to blue just because I feel like it. All right, I'm ready to stitch. I've got my two pieces of material here and I'm going to um, just encourage that under the foot like this. So this is a cutting stitch. You saw how I had moved our knife back up there and everything. So I'm just gonna stitch. Now the needle that is the right center needle, that one's gonna be making a chain stitch and the needle towards the back, that would be the left needle. That one is going to be engaging our three thread overlock stitch. So there's the front of our stitch and there's the back and then that is going to be a very secure stitch on this canvas. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it gives you some ideas for how easy it could be if you took one of these little buggers home with you. Uh, it really is an amazing machine and I can't wait to show it to you in person. So with that in mind, come on in to Bernina of Naperville. If you wanna know a little bit more information about the machine, you can always give us a call at 331-472-4231. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, don't forget to tune in to our Bernina of Naperville YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash Bernina of Naperville. But until then, happy sewing and surging. <laughs>